In this series of lectures, we will walk through the five steps for hypothesis testing. Namely, the five steps, as mentioned before, include state the null and alternative hypothesis. And when we state the null and alternative hypothesis, we will identify the claim. We will also determine the level of significance, which we call alpha. In step two, we will also draw the picture and determine the critical values. In step three, we will compute the test statistic and the p-value. In step four, we will compare the test statistics with the critical value, and we will also show you how to use the p-value method when we take the p-value and compare it to alpha. Finally, in step five, we're going to reject or fail to reject the null hypothesis, and then we're going to make a concluding statement about the problem in which we have in front of us in order to support the claim. Step one, state the null and alternative hypothesis. Well, first we have to understand what the null and alternative hypothesis entail. The null hypothesis is always a statement of the status quo. In other words, it is what it is. So if the average age of the student at St. Leo University is 35 years old, then that's what it is. Also, the null hypothesis is a statement of equality. In the context in which we're going to use the null hypothesis, we will always use it as a statement of equality. And lastly, it is a statement of the current condition. Sooner to the statement of the status quo, it is what it is. The complement of the null hypothesis is the alternative hypothesis. The alternative hypothesis is our testing hypothesis. In addition, it is always a statement of strict inequality. When we write our null hypothesis, we write it as H sub zero. When we write our alternate hypothesis, we write it as H sub one. In other textbooks, if you're using them, you may see the alternative hypothesis written as H sub capital A, or it could be written as H sub little a. When we write our statement of hypothesis, we write them in pairs. We write our statement associated with the null hypothesis as the null hypothesis is such that the mean or whatever parameter that we we're dealing with is equal to some value. Whereas with our alternative hypothesis, we write that the mean is either greater than some value, not equal to some va value, or less than some value. In this way, we will always have our statement of inequality, which is in opposition to our null hypothesis, which is a statement of equality. So, for example, we're going to test the claim that the average age of the student at St. Leo University, Hampton Roads campuses, is less than 35 years old. So, what would be our null and alternative hypothesis in this case. And remember, we also have to state the claim. So in this case, the claim is that the average age of the student at St. Leo University is less than 35 years old. Since our alternative hypothesis is a statement of inequality, this claim gives us our statement of inequality. In other words, it is asking you to test the claim that the average age of the student at St. Leo University Hampton Roads campuses is less than 35 years old. Given that we have the alternative hypothesis, we can now write the null hypothesis as a statement of equality, saying that the null hypothesis is equal to 35 years old. In another case, we write the claim is that the proportion of women attending St. Leo University, Hampton Roads campuses, is more than 60%. So with this claim, we write that the proportion, and note that we use the parameter P for proportion, that the proportion is greater than 60%. That's our claim. And that's what we want to test. Therefore, our null hypothesis is a statement of equality where the proportion of women is equal 
to 60%. And in our third example, we're going to test the claim that the average number of cars that cross the high rise bridge per day is 3,850. Again, we're looking at an average. In this case, we are given that the average number of cars is 3,850. So the claim is, is that is 3,850, it is equal to, therefore, our alternative hypothesis is that the mean is not equal to 350 cars.